Hello doers, it's Ignacio here. At Stealthywood, we want to ensure that we offer our customers the full suite of support offerings. Now this means answering their questions in a timely manner, scheduling repairs, planning on-site services, and providing a solution to any issues that may arise. However, we also want to make sure that we keep ourselves profitable. We don't want to go broke. Luckily, with just a few steps, our help desk application will track how much time my employees spend on their tickets and even let me bill that time back to the customer. This can be highly beneficial for companies that want to see where their employees are spending the most time or they want to include support services at an additional charge. Now the help desk application integrates seamlessly with sales, accounting, timesheets, and projects to produce a simple process that takes you from ticket creation to paid invoice in only a few steps. Now enough chit chat, let's dive into Stealthywood and get started. Okay, so first let's turn on my help desk teams, timesheets, and time billing settings. I'm going to open up the help desk application and go up here to configuration and select teams. The team that I want to pick is actually going to be my customer care team. And we're going to scroll down to track and bill time. As you guessed it, we have two options here. Timesheets, which will allow us to track the time spent on tickets and time billing, which will allow us to bill that time back to our customers. I already enabled them beforehand. And you also notice that I'm prompted to select a project over here for the timesheets. This project is where the timesheets for this team will be stored. If I click on the drop down, it basically allows me to select a different one. I can see that a project has already been created for my team in our case, which was the customer care team. So that's the one that we want to leave it on right there. Okay, now that we have these settings in place, let's see how this works by following a ticket from creation to billing. Okay, so first I'm going to open up the sales application. And the first thing that we need to do is to create a service product for this task. We can also update an existing product, but in our case, I think it's time for us to create a new one. So let's go up here to products and products and select new. Now I'm going to name it customer care because that is the team and prepaid hours because that has a nice ring to it. Now down here for the product type, we're going to select service because this is a service and the invoicing policy for this case is going to be prepaid because this is prepaid. This allows me to invoice my customer before the services have been completed, which means we'll be paid upfront for our services. Now, since I want this product to be tied to the customer care team project, I need to have a task created every time someone orders this service. So I'm actually going to select over here, create on order. And what do I need? A task. And I have a task created in the existing project, which happens to be the customer care one that we had just talked about. Perfect. I also want to set the sales price not to a dollar, but to $40. And I'm going to change the units of measure as well. In our case, we basically don't want it to be units, but we need it to be something else entirely, which is hours. Now that we select that, everything is there. Now we can create an order with our new service product. So I'm going to head back over to the sales dashboard after I finish over here saving. Back over here. And in our case, we're going to make a new sales order. So a new quotation is in order. I'm going to add my customer who is Azure Interior because I really like them a lot. Now, as we talked about it, we just created that new product. So let's use it. Customer care. Let that autofill help us be a little bit lazy. And let's say that Azure Interior wanted to pay for five hours of our support. So in our case, we're going to select basically the quantity of five. And boom, this all looks great. So I'm going to confirm this and I'm going to create the invoice and it's going to be a regular invoice. And afterwards, we're going to just create the invoice. Now, once that we register the payment, we can basically go ahead and start delivering the customer support hours. Now, as you can see, I have a new smart button up here at the top of the sales order showing us that a task has been created. There's another one for a related project as well. So in our case, I'm going to select the task smart button. And here we are. We can see that my new task and the project that is linked to it are all over here. And it's beautiful. We can also see that we have this tab here labeled timesheets, which is where we can track our hours, but we can also track them on a help desk ticket. So let's head on over to the help desk application and create a ticket for these services. So let's head on over to the help desk application. Make sure you select the right team and tickets. And we're going to make a new one. In our case, we're going to title this repair services because we are servicing their repairs. 
and our client was Azure Interior. And you'll notice that once that I did that, the sales order item field over here has actually populated with the most recent one that we worked on. If it doesn't, you can actually select in here from the drop down and select it. But once that we actually did that, since we're linked, I can actually tell my team to get started on this task. So I'm going to assign Audrey Peterson because I see her name immediately. And then when she is ready, she can add her time to the timesheets tab on the task. Now you'll notice since we have a linked sales order, we can actually see in the bottom right corner how many remaining hours on the sales order. But let's assume that Audrey actually started working on this for quite a bit. So we're going to select her over here. I can't spell a day. And we're going to say that she spent four hours. She's a very efficient person. Once we do that and she's completed the work, I can mark this ticket now as solved. Boom. Great job, Audrey. Then if I wanted to, I can actually use the smart button at the top to head back over to the sales order using it. Now, as you can see in the delivered column, what do we have, oh doers? We have actually delivered four of the hours of the five that Audrey has completed. So now that Azure has received the services they prepaid for, what if we want to set up a service, but we are unsure of how long it'll take? Well, let's try a similar flow, but we won't charge the customer until after the work has been completed. All right, Adir, so now we'll need to set up a different product for this flow because we are working with a different invoicing policy. So I'm actually going to duplicate the previous product and change the invoicing policy. So we're going to open that up inside of the products, customer care prepaid hours. And here we go. We're going to name this one customer care based on timesheets. Now, instead of prepaid, I'm going to select based on timesheets here. Then I want to make sure I have it set to create a task in the correct project, just like before. Basically, everything now looks really good, so I think we're ready to go. So let's head on over to the sales dashboard, and we're going to create a new order, and we're going to select create. Okay, I'm going to set it to Azure Interior again, and I'm going to select the new one for the product section down here. Now, once I've done that, I can confirm the sales order. Now, if I tried to invoice this sales order, Odoo wouldn't let me because there's nothing to invoice at this time. So now we can pop over to the help desk application and create a new ticket for this order. And let's call it this time something else. So let's head on over there, create a new one under the same customer care team. And we're going to title this one new product issue. And now when I add in the customer name, since there is more than one existing sales order, and I just talked about this, we can select the right one from the drop down. I'm going to assign this to Audrey again, because I think the client was impressed with her before. And then we're basically going to be ready to glow. So let's go over here to the timesheets tab. Since this ticket was not created with a plan number of hours, Audrey is going to track her time basically as she goes. She's going to enter her time in the timesheet as she completes the work. You can add time from previous days, today, other times. You can add basically anything you need. Let's say you forgot to enter it or add multiple entries for the same day like Audrey is going to be doing right now. So we're going to do our first one, an hour. And now we're going to do another one and change the date in two hours, I guess. Now, once she is done, we're going to move this again to solve so we know that the job is done. Now, I can head back over to the sales order and complete the process. Just like before, the delivered column has been updated with the actual number of hours that Audrey has logged on the timesheet. And now that a service has been completed, I can actually create an invoice. So I'm going to click create an invoice, regular invoice, and done. Now I can email this directly to my customer and they'll be able to pay me directly through the portal. And that's pretty easy. So today we learned how to track the amount of time your employees are spending on their tickets and how to bill the time back to your customers, thereby making you even more money. Now these features are great additions to any help this team and are a helpful way to make sure that your company is profitable while maintaining the high level of service your customers deserve. Thank you for watching, Odoers. I love you.